Disabling startup items on your Windows-based audio system can help remedy many common error messages in Pro Tools, as well as improving the overall performance of your machine. To disable the startup items, we need to edit the msconfig. Go to the Start menu and search the word msconfig. It stands for Microsoft System Configuration. When the program appears, either hit Return or click with the mouse and the System Configuration will open. There are five tabs, General, Boot, Services, Startup and Tools. We want to deal with the General. Instead of Normal Startup, choose Selective Startup and disable the loading of startup items. Now, select the Services tab. Hide all of the Microsoft services and disable any remaining. Now enable the DigiDesign MME Refresh service and the DigiSPTI service. Now bear in mind, you'll be turning off all of your virus and your spyware software, so surf responsibly. Under the Startup tab, enable the DigiDesign MME Binder option and if you have any M Audio entries, like the Firewire Tray application, then enable that too. Now once you've applied these changes, you'll need to restart your system. Do it now. Now once your computer restarts, you'll need to launch the Pro Tools application and verify that any errors you incurred before have indeed been eradicated. Now with the computer up and running, Launch Pro Tools and open and work with the session until you're sure that everything is working perfectly. If it is, you can leave the machine as is, running it ultra lean for making music. Or you can go back to the MS config and start turning on services and or startup items one at a time until you find the offending item causing your problems inside of Pro Tools. Remember to restart your machine each time you make a change.